and we're just world building. I already told you that. Hello. Hi. Hi. People of the YouTubes. Um. And the YouTube. greater world. Yeah, um, as it says on the <clears throat> current title, that won't matter if people actually ever watch this back because I've changed it. We're meant to be doing Exeed at Shio tonight. One of our players is probably asleep, so we aren't doing that. I can see um, myself in the video. <laughs> so yeah, instead we're doing some more world building uh, using the Be A Better Campaign Master questions, which oh, means man. I need to get up. <laughs> This is really sorry. Stop yes. looking at stuff. Um, uh, so I just need to get up that thing. Uh, so, like I said, using the be a better campaign master, uh, building the world section, the questions from that, because that's how we've done it for the other time. Um, 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 there it is. Cool. So yeah, um, okay, so I'm just going to go and get another drink, because, no, actually I'm not. I'll give it in a minute. Um, so yeah, guys, just introduce yourselves for the sake of, that's what people do. Hello, I am Christian. I am the silly one that says silly things, and attempts to make people laugh. I'm Tom. I'm the other guy. You know, that guy. That guy. Yeah, one cool dude. <clears throat> Indeed. Um, okay, so... Uh, um... Yep, that's them. And who is it that's hosting this marvelous um, session? Yeah, um, I am. I'm Oliver, and I am meant to be running the game, but I'm not because because yeah. Because somebody doesn't know how to wake up at half past eight or whatever time. Yeah, half past eight in the evening. Pretty much, he's not here. Uh, so, um, yeah. So we are gonna do some world building instead. Uh, the place we are world building is a place called Invalo. This is the fourth place that we have been building. The third uh, online, the fourth in total. We have already done Megita, uh, which was offline, and then the Dawnshine Islands and Gollum Mark. I believe we did online. Um, didn't we? Yeah? Well, we did Golemark online. I don't know that much. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We, we did the Dawn of China Islands online as well. Cool. So, uh, Envalo. Um, we're just going to go through the questions, and I'm going to type down the stuff which they say pretty much. Um, there'll be some. Controls everywhere. There'll be some things which we can't actually ask because it relates to the world in total, so we've already got an answer. But there will be some things which are changeable. Um, oh, God. Which we shall uh, then answer. Um, I'm just going to quickly save the document. Um, so first question <clears throat> is, um, according to this place uh, of Invalo, how many astrological symbols are there in the night sky? I think that me and Tom should both randomly at the same time pick a number. And then we go for the number that's the average of those two. So you ready, Tom? Wait, 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 wait. What's like um? <laughs> because you know, is how arbitrary is it? Is it going to be like three or or, or fifty? Uh, whatever preferably, you want. 
preferably lower because uh, <laughs> so we're, we're probably going to have to name them all. So, well. well, I've never got people to name them yet, but I, I, I might do that. Mm. All right. So in three seconds, we're both going to say a number. Okay, Tom. All right. Three, two, one. Fourteen. Twelve. Oh, you're on the boat. Thirteen so, then. So there's thirteen. Oh, okay. Well, that's very convenient. Yeah. Okay. So I should change my mind. I want seven hundred and two. No, no. Thirteen. Uh, so the first question was how many moons orbit your world. Uh, the answer to that one is three. Three. Um, yes, we already know that. I know that. Stuff. Um, there's the white moon, the yellow moon, and the blood moon. They're not called white and yellow, but we haven't got names for them. Yep, shut up. Um, and then how many suns are there in the sky? There are two. Oh, it's a binary system. That's the one. We could never think of the name last time. It's a binary star system. Binary system. That makes really probably should have thought of that, considering. Yeah. We spent so long last, last time we did this trying to figure out what the name was. To no avail. Um, anyway, next question. Is land ownership important for citizens' social status? Uh, I'm going to say no in this case. Mm, mm -hmm. Yes, me too. This is, this is a communist nation. It's been decided. <laughs> oh, cool, then. Many, many years ago, the... Um, Proletariat sees the means of production. Tom, what are you doing? Uh, what? Nothing. Okay. Um, how dangerous is the winter? Uh, it's kind of cold, but. Cold, it's... but not really dangerous. Wait, it's an island, right? So. Yeah. The jet streams are a little bit. Uh, fiddly. It can get a bit unpredictable. So, winters are cold and unpredictable. So at least this time, it's not if you stand outside for more than a minute, you will freeze. Well, that's a good thing. Like it was in Golemark. <laughs> it's a cruel, cruel place. Yep. Uh, place what so kind of... Sorry, yeah, go, you go ahead. Uh, what kind of music is popular among the people? Uh, I believe that they are like the... Islands of a certain gentleman by the name of. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of some clever old timey pun <laughs> twist on a um, on a modern singer. Well, it's uh, not, a famous, not a famous singer, just like the kind of actual music type. Okay. I think that they are quite jazzy characters. So they're going to listen okay. to. Jazz music, all the saxophones and everything. Oh, yeah, jazz style music. Cool. Um, what was the largest naval battle ever fought, if there was one? There wasn't one. They haven't discovered boats yet. <laughs> okay. But airships? Have they got airships? They got airships. They just haven't discovered regular ships. And what's fun is that the fact that airships look exactly like regular ships, except with balloons on the top. Yeah, they designed them perfectly to float, but they never thought about actually putting them in the water. Yeah, no, they, they design, and then when they land, they land in like little pools of water. <laughs> and yet they just haven't put two and two together. Yeah, they're the first people to come up with airships as well. They got advanced technology, very advanced technology. Just about what? Uh... <laughs> It's not the most Elkhorn imaginative people. Elkhorn is airships. Um, Elkhorn stole them off of his... Oh. I've already um, forgotten the name. Envalo. No, I'm, I'm never going to remember that. I'm going to call it Land of Happy People. 
There are quite a lot of places. Um, no, never bottles and no ships. Uh, what is more popular, wine or ale? Hmm. Well, the last one we said me, didn't we? Yeah. I think these people are fans of... I wouldn't go as far as... I'd say they're a fan of the more expensive drink, but not as far as to go to, to wine. I think they're more whiskey kind of people. Okay. I'm forming this image in my head, and it really re doesn't fit together very well. Whiskey, <laughs> drinking, jazz, dancers, musicians. Oh, wow. Tom, what is the most common household pet in the realm? Uh, the frogs. <laughs> the, the most common household pet can it be a pseudo dragon. <laughs> yeah. Pseudo dragon. Pseudo dragon. Okay. Common household dragon. No, common household pet. Pseudo dragon. Um. The dragonborn that live there get really offended. What is the most common name? Uh, Davros. Sure. Everyone likes to make their own Daleks. Oh, no I don't have any idea who Paul Mackey is. Apparently they're playing no. X Doctor Who. Yeah, Companion, yeah. Oh, I look forward I to seeing how she does. Okay, the next question is, is there a sigil that represents the world as a whole? What we always have done with this one, and I think it makes the most sense, is we answer the rest of the questions and come back to it, because then yes. you've got a better idea for the world. Yeah. Okay. A phone and a bottle of whiskey. Circle. Yeah. Who is the most famous assassin in the world, and who did they assassinate? Oh, this yeah, so long there last. is one, and they did. The f assassin. It was the great revolutionary leader, Galopsky. No. Galopsky. I know this is slightly different, but do bear in mind that that's what happened in Golomark. <laughs> oh, we did have a revolution in Golomark as well. Yeah. yeah. How about there is a... Um, Assassin employed by the ruler. It's like a state assassin who carries out any um, subtle. It's how they get rid of criminals. They don't like. Just, just arrange little accidents. Arrange little accidents, yeah. That's cool. But nobody is knows his true name. One, or is it, <clears throat> or is it perhaps that there's like. Not an assassin's guild, but like a, a group of assassins. There's, there's, there's an organization which kidnaps children and trains them from a very, very young age to become natural-born killers. And it's so, Jedi. What? I mean, no. Every, every single one has a number and not a name. That's cool. And they should be called the... I don't know. I can't think of cool, fancy-sounding names. Yeah. Tom, that's your job. You go for that. <laughs> fantasy-sounding name. We'll think of something, don't I? Uh, there's a guild yeah. of state assassins the who are... The Something from uh, the Royal Guard. Um, young age. Execute enemies of state and those convicted of heinous crimes. Cool. That is cool. I like that. Um, we'll have to come up with a name for that, though. The Undercloaks. Because they all wear cloaks and do all their killings under cloaks. They wrap their targets in a cloak and then stab them in between. Like, oh, that works, yeah. There's, 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 there's an assassin's guild in a world that I know about uh, called the Umbloaks, so that's a bit similar. 
I know it's not related at all, but I just fistful of dice. Well, to better off. Yes. That's a really the good. Faceless, the faceless man. You guys, should, you guys should watch uh, Cloak and Dagger. It's a one shot with spies and stuff, and it's very cool. Okay. On oh, a fistful of dice. I'm considering now doing a one shot with with that thing though. Oh, yes. With that idea, because that that was quite cool. Um, right, I've gone on to fantasy name generator. Okay. Uh, to try and band name that. generator. You call the faceless men. Huh? Faceless men. You never you never see their faces, so they're called the faceless men. Ah, oh, yeah, they. Um, enveloped in shadows. Space fleet names, natural oh, disaster name band fleet. name generator. <laughs> <laughs> Get them an orky name. They're called Daka Daka Daka. God, just call them Daka Daka Daka. Yeah. <laughs> Daka. Daka means. I know what Daka means. Oh. Let's call it jumping. I think it just means online reporter. <laughs> hmm. I think, think I think I think I think DACA is a I think it means like violence or destruction. Uh, it's, <laughs> no, it means many things in the orc language. I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking through a um, list of orc war bosses and one of them is literally called Beast. The Yeah. I like that. Bogger, bogger. Because I've got the um the orc the orc codex. Bone stomper, bone crusher, bone smasher, bone cracker. Oh, who's the super famous one? Ed Crumper. Ed uh, Garmec so oil famous. guzzler, Garshal the destroyer, Gazbrim, Garag Badtooth, Garkle Blackfang. Gorbad. There's a lot of G's. They really like their G's. Yeah, it's because it's all guttural sounding. Yeah. Kill fist, kills car, kill dagger, kill. Uh, no, claw <laughs> jaw, Krug. Oh, I like that. Krug. 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 That's actually quite a good name for something. There's Snagger Snagger. Snagger Snagger. Which is it's very, like very close. Wazgul or something, I think. Sun spitter, tooth jaw. Wow, his tooth jaw. Grog he has teeth. Iron teeth. Oh. Urgok the unstoppable. Urlak, Urg. I like war boss Grog iron teeth. Zogit, that's amazing. Zogit. Hey, let's, let's stop looking through those now. <laughs> Sorry, getting distracted again. Tom, I blame you for that. War. Um, the black cats. The black cats. No, see, when someone says the black cats, I think of something I really don't want to be reminded of. I was joking, but... I think of, like, some sort of band, but okay. I still think the faceless men would be good. Yeah, that works. But what if they're not men? How about they only pick the face- men? The faceless. The faceless. Sure the faceless. Man. Yeah, the faceless. I guess that works. Stormwalkers. Sounds cool. The face. Um. To get this done in time, I really want to do some character generation for members of the faceless now. Because uh, that that would be cool. Um. Next up. Uh. How do the wealthy classes spend their money? Uh, oh, that's um, that wait, the how? You mean, like, the, not with credit cards, I assume. Yeah. Uh, I, I, wait, what, how? I'm assuming what is the most common item for one of these? Yeah. Or pastime or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Like some uh, sort of status symbol? 
Yes, that doesn't Main. actually do anything. Um, there's a big trade in orc teeth in this place, and so they hire hunters to slaughter as many orcs as possible, take all their teeth, and then bring them back. And they make them into fine statues and all sorts of things. So you've basically made the ivory trade, but with orcs. Orcs instead of elephants. Wow. At least they get have more fight than elephants. Suppose. Uh, well, how do you? No, because with ivory you can carve out the. How do you carve with a flipping orc tooth? Maybe you don't carve. Maybe you get loads of different sizes and stick them together. Yeah, I suppose. Hunters to kill. Orcs. Make stuff out of the teeth, as apparently there's a trade in that. No, none of the places that we've made have been anywhere near normal. Normal's boring. Nobody likes normal. True. Yeah, but not even remotely normal. Um, right, anyway. If I need to do these things, then they'll never be normal. That's yeah, but even two rely. of them. The other two were probably even more strange. Uh, yeah. What colour usually color, signifies then. nobility? I'm going to think we're going to go for something. I reckon you have a nice noble white. Okay. Noble what? Noble white, just completely blindingly bright white. <laughs> sure, that works. White, very bright. In the case is, of, uh, you, you know, so that all the peasants literally can't have that colour because it will get muddy the instant they step anywhere with it. Hmm. Have colour. Um, what stories are told to children in your work in the place to keep them from getting into trouble? Frost trolls. No. Uh, faceless. <laughs> like, point. they're gonna come and yeah. kidnap you yeah. if you uh, go outside at night. That's a good point. If the faceless only take bad children because bad children make good killers. Yeah. If you're bad, they just don't want to recruit you. No, no, because maybe good, maybe good children get taken because they're the ones who actually obey orders. Well, I think the parents would say that the bad children get taken, but in reality, it's just random. Yeah, true. Like what colour is the sky? The sky? Uh, what colour are the star? The, the binary stars? That's a good point. What's the atmosphere yeah. well, what, what, composed of? It's 97% Magic. non. One place is you're, trying to work out, you're trying to work out the refractive index of whatever gas is in the atmosphere, aren't you, Tom? A little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't, because everywhere on the planet's got a different coloured sky, pretty much. Oh. So it's yeah, that's true. What, I some places just have normal colours. It's going to have like, a very, very pale pink, constantly. Like a nice warm pink, but pale. It's, it's warm but pale, if you know what I mean. Sort of just What's that? kind of like it's in an eternal sunrise. Sort of, yeah. That that nice color. I like that sort of. It's, it's really hard to explain. So, you know, sometimes you see them in cartoons. It's just for some reason the sky is just pink on the sunrise. Yeah. Just like that. I would just say the sky is an eternal sunrise color. I reckon that would be nice and pleasant. Nice that would be. Sunrises are lovely. Are there any holy cities? Um, there's no holy cities, but there's like landmarks. Landmarks, you mean like shrines, just in the middle of nowhere. Or, or maybe not nowhere, but like close to settlements. 
Okay. Yeah, well, maybe like they were in the middle of nowhere and then settlements formed around them. Yeah. Okay. No holy cities, but are shrines and similar. Which... What would the religion be like? Would it be like a central religion with one god, or would it be multiple gods? That's another question. Um. I mean, generally speaking, given the the style of the universe and like the fact that there's clerics of multiple different gods and stuff. That's true. Yeah. Do you have, like one be... shrine dedicated to each god, or? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Some settlements have. Um, I mean, they would use uh, the same overall pantheon uh, as. Now trying to find the list of Pantheon, which will be here somewhere. There's like 30 different gods in the Pantheon. Um, 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 um. Oh well, doesn't matter. But these guys are separated and have clearly had no contact with the outside world because if they would then at least they would have discovered about boats because boats would have got to them or maybe they just saw no need to use boats because they had airships yeah that it's makes true. sense uh, which sort of leads us to the next question uh, did one race of people come before the others sorry say that again did one race of people come before the others um uh, I'm not sure about that one. Let's say the first people to get here. It was maybe it was like um like a race. <laughs> no. It was not the race, but like uh, it they came was out. originally the homeland. It was the homeland of the orcs, and then it got taken over by people, and sort of all the orcs diminished. It was taken yeah. over by them. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, okay. Sort of um, so like, I'm trying to think of the name now. There was a place in the Elder Scrolls lore that was sort of like that. I think it was. Mm. It was an orc stronghold, and then it, they all got killed by red guards, and then the orcs that escaped came back a, a few years later and killed all the red guards and reclaimed it. And then a dragon so, came. Uh, killed everyone. Orcs were originally living in in that low. But then who who came after the orcs? I think they all came at a very similar time. We could have the last one. Yeah. Well no, the last time everyone just came at the same time. Everyone cares. Man came, got rid of the orcs, which meant that the island was less scary, so other people began to settle. Yeah. Seems like the wrong order, but that makes sense. Normally it's the elves or dwarves kill all the orcs, and then man come along, but you know. Um, I mean, they're very aggressive in this place. Opposite land. <laughs> they're Scottish. Uh, but then man came, that's the dwarves. Um, um, They're less Scottish than the dwarfs. But then man came along and killed lots of the orcs. And then other races came. Okay. Next up. Um, uh, uh, have there been any major wars in recent history? The um, orc human war? Yes, that counts, yeah. But it might have been a little while ago. It's more of an extermination than a war. Well, they are orcs. Yeah. It's not like they're just going to all like run around screaming and then die. Or maybe they are. Maybe the people's perception of orcs is actually completely wrong. Yeah. The orcs are actually really, really nice people. They invented pottery. 
and they teach it to all their children. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how about that? The orcs in this world are like just people with big teeth and green skin and are somewhat civilized. Yeah. Case of the Neanderthals um, and the um the Homo the other ones. Neanderthals and Homo, Homo sapiens, I guess. Is that Homo, Homo Yeah, Homo, Homo erectus and Homo sapiens. Homo erectus and Homo sapiens, yeah. Flipping so vicious. one of them was very well, reasonably intelligent, and the other one was just sort of there. <laughs> Got wiped out because they weren't successful. Because humans were flipping murders. But, you know. But I, I'm talking about in the case that the orcs that we have on this island are the Homo sapiens, and the orcs on other islands are. Yes, more... no, yeah, then no, that makes sense, yeah. The, these orcs are nice. Well, they they've developed. Uh, they, don't, they don't they don't like men that much. No, Other races awesome. they're sort of all right with. Yeah. I'll just put that down quickly. Orcs here. I guess in a way it's also similar to um, Native Americans when the Europeans came and sort of just called them savages and killed them, even though a lot of them were peaceful. Yeah. Orcs here were fairly intelligent and not savages, but man happened. Man happened, yeah. And killed them anyway, because man. There we go. Doesn't make much sense, but I know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, um, apart from that war, have there been any other, any other wars or not really? No, I don't think okay. so. Uh, Only... can't Rachel, what was the human orc war? Awesome. Well, if they fight, if they fought, it, it, it would be a chance that the uh, that one of the shrines might get broken in, as collateral, and that would be good. Mm -hmm. Maybe those shrines were originally built by orcs and then taken over. Ooh. Okay. Um, um, what is the most widely celebrated holiday? Invasion uh, Day. Uh, orc Squash Day. <laughs> orc Squash Day. <laughs> um, um, I'd say they call it Grogak Day. It's sort of like Guy Fawkes Night. They burn an effigy of an orc that once infiltrated the capital in an attempt to blow up the king at the time. But was failed, and yeah, they burn an effigy of him to just sort of keep the other orcs down, remind them that they can never succeed in overthrowing man. Even though it turns out that the king is actually an orc in disguise. No, but dun, that dun, in dun. that this in this in this society perhaps it's actually the way around. Like all the peasants and people are really like I suppose xenophobic of orcs and like the nobilities as well, but then like the royal family and like the people at the very, very top are actually like, you know, what we kinda did was wrong. Um maybe a bit and And that's the premise for the entire story that's gonna be set in this place. And the fact that they, they actually are like there's lots of orcs that like actually um work like within the like the, for the monarchy and like do lots of the like because they're really smart and they know the land, like do lots of the agriculture stuff just behind the scenes and the industry stuff. Um They're the ones that build the airships. We yeah. The monarchy says they spring out of the ground. Got a natural <laughs> spring of Mark IV yeah. airship. It's actually made by Orc Craft. And it's also why the faceless are called the faceless because originally they were just they're orcs. actually orcs, and <laughs> they don't want to expose that. So. Yeah. Ooh. Well, because they weren't originally orcs, but now they're orcs, uh, and also not orcs, but because they were orcs originally, they had to wear masks, so people never knew what they looked like. Uh. 
see, and then we've got huge amounts of lore to the place. Which, see, it works. I like this. Boom. I like this place. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't say I like this place, because yeah. racism and genocide and all that, but it's interesting, to say the least. Yeah. Our lucky are only ones to accept the orcs. I guess they wouldn't be the only ones. There'd be a couple of people who work for the monarchies that know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, the, the people at the top kind of just were like, you know what, they're actually pretty, they're not like orcs, they're anywhere else, they're pretty smart, and you know, we shouldn't be mean and horrible to them, so. Well, I would go that far. I think they more thought we could use these to, this sort of dominance to our advantage. I'm trying to make them not seem like a horrible monarchy, Christian. I, they're not horrible. They like, give the people fair sort of pay and all that. It's just They're just sort of passive. Yeah. Yeah, no, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I've got to work for them behind the scenes. That's smart. Helped develop airships. That could be actually another um, mm-hmm. like children's story to get the children in line. The orcs will come get you. Yeah, more well, the assassins. So, war masks to faces. Now, other races, but still mm. keep masks, hence the faceless. Awesome. Okay. How many seasons are there? There are five. Yeah. And, right. And one other one. The, 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 it starts off with the sort of tepid time, and then it goes to the warm time, then it goes to the colder time, then it goes to the really bloody cold time, and then it goes to the other cold time. So tepid time. And so it, it gets sort of, it's sort of like I don't know, like a spring morning sort of. Warm enough that you can go out with, maybe with a shirt on, you'll be fine. And then sort of full-blown summer. And then it sort of starts to get colder, but not so cold that you'll, there's snow or anything. But then it gets really cold, so there is snow. And then it gets less cold again, but still too cold to sort of just go outside for a so nice... So time, warm slash hot time, slightly cold time... Yeah, so they, 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 they split the colder time into, like, the winter season into three different parts. Freezing and then there's, like, time. one day of gap in between the seasons in which you have no idea what's going to happen. You have no idea what's going to happen. Like, the ground could crack and lava could spew out. <laughs> there could be a giant explosion and give everyone a block of cheese. Who knows? Hey, and between the 13 uh, different months that there were going to be based on these symbols. How many is in each one? Um, there's two uh, in the tepid. Okay. Three in, three in the warm. Okay. Um, no, three in the tepid, three in yep. the warm, two in both the colds, and then the Really, really cold. It's got three. Does that add up okay. right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it does. Perfect. Oh. Uh, ignore. Okay, cool. Um. Are ancient relics scattered around your world? Yeah, so that's what the shrines were based off of. Yeah. yeah. That's sort of like in inside the shrine. Yeah, are in shrine. Are the nobles of your world's bloodline are uh, are the nobles um decided by a popular vote or bloodline? Bloodline. Uh, Bloodline, unfortunately. Um, 
Is a cow more valuable than a coin, or a coin more val a gold coin, or vice versa? Uh, I have a feeling because there's lots of trade, you know, lots of airships. There's going to be quite a big trading. Yeah, they're not place. big on cows. They're not big on cows. Agriculture is not the main working, which is why they have orcs do it instead of the populace. It's more of an industrial. Yeah. Nation. Yeah. Sort of like fifties America. Yeah. Was it fifties America? I know 50s what you mean. Sixties. Sort of that happens. whole lots and lots of factories, people just toiling away. Steampunk assassins. Steampunk um. assassins. Oh, I, just, I can just imagine now, like someone with a knife on a piston, just like, "Ha, huh, you missed." Um, are diseases and plagues prevalent? Um, I'm going to say because of the fact that it is an advanced place-ish, no. Even though yeah, people are packed together quite tightly in certain places. Thanks managed to, to the orc's knowledge of medicine. Thanks, yes. Which... And not like been, which has actually been accounted like the the um all of the peasants and stuff thank a noble for it instead the nobles taken all the glory for this yeah it's like a as a, a free healthcare system I mean it's primitive but you know it's free yeah mm -hmm. um um okay what sort of unsavory creatures come out at night. Now, this could be something different. Bears. Very... They're werebears. They have werebears. 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 To be fair, even though they're rare, you might want to prepare for the werebears there. How would you spell wear? W-E-R-E. Yeah, that's what yeah. it's called. Yeah, W-E-R-E. It's like... It's were. Yeah, Wait, were? Werebears. Yeah, were. That's a good point, actually. Why does it spell like that, even though it's... Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Um, yes, common is the common language. What's the most common musical instrument? A saxophone. Saxophone. Then trombone comes up <laughs> close to the second. I have I have I'm in a very silly mood today and I love it. They're a very brassy island. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and say the Strangers Festival is also the uh, orc one. Okay. Orc one. The Gorak Day. That sounded strange. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Are there any animals in the world that are illegal to hunt or kill? Um, I was going to say orcs, but, you know. <laughs> there is a very rare type of dolphin in the ocean. They can't get to the ocean. It, it, it's, it's, no, they can still like they attack from boats. the shore. They can attack from the shore. And people... This dolphin... No, it's a seal, in fact. Seal clubbing is very common sport because it's sort of a case of you have to get them before they get to the ocean and they have this safe zone. So it became a common sport. And then they stopped. It was made illegal, so they decided, you know what, we're just going to get people to hunt orcs for us then instead and make stuff out of their teeth. Okay, so seals are... They are mm -hmm. magic. They're, they're flame. No, they're not flame seals. That's stupid. <laughs> flame seals. <laughs> flame seals. What is? I uh, know. Um, who's the most famous musician? Um, it's not a flipping dragon. He's actually one of the um, one of the it's faceless. Actually, one of the orcs. He's, he's rumored to be one of the faceless. 
as a musician with amazing musical ability, but whoever he plays to dies. Everyone That's knows good. of this musician, he's, but nobody knows who he is. Infamous. And he's also deaf. He's deaf. Just to add something. <laughs> he's deaf. He can't hear anything, but he's the best musician. So nobody, including himself, ever heard his music. And that's alive. clever because that's why he doesn't die. That's why he doesn't die because he can't hear it. Um, clever. That's just that's just sort of blown back to dance. I've been Reno crying Medge now. Okay. That was a good show. You should watch that. About um. Ser- the an- uh, not the ancestors, people whose ancestors were serial killers, and they inherit their killing weapons, which now have special abilities, and they have an urge to kill, or do something similar to satisfy themselves. So there's one guy with scissors that can cut through anything, and the only way he can stop himself from killing is cutting hair. It's, it's good. Oh. Anyway. Yes. Um. Uh, hmm. Mm. Well. Music. Oh. Yeah. You, you just said, well... I did? Oh, I didn't notice it. <laughs> Tom, I think you should put your goggles on again. They are on. I'll put them on your eyes. Um, are politicians revered or distrusted? They don't exist. They're no politicians. It's all run by nobles. Oh, politicians exist. What's the most famous battle? Oh, it's got to um, be... The Battle like of battle, Big Little like Horn. At least five people died. Big Little Horn. It's like Little Big Horn, but... <laughs> I don't know. What happened in Big... What happened in that battle? I've never heard of it. Um, which battle are you referring to? Battle of Little Big Horn. I've never heard yeah. of that. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Custer and his U.S. Army troops are defeated in battle with uh, by native Seox and Cheyenne. Except for it's the opposite. It's Big Little Horn, because in fact it was the biggest massacre of the orc populace seen to date. Yeah, like five orcs died. That was pretty much a massacre. Okay, so. Don't fit very well. Custer's last stand. Biggest battle is the battle of Big Little Horn. It's called that because the um, the main chieftain at the time was in the battle, and he had very big horns. And his son was also in the battle, but he had smaller horns, and they were both killed. And uh, the king took their horns as trophies and for some reason decided to say it was a big little horn. Okay. Fair enough. Um. Uh, wouldn't know. What's the most common natural disaster? Uh, uh airship crashes. <laughs> I don't natural. Actually, is that not really natural? Is it? <laughs> People think they are natural because they don't know where the airships come from and assume they're just natural things. Little earthquakes. Little earthquakes. I'm fine. Be boring. Um, what's regarded as the most dangerous form of magic? 
uh, most dangerous form of magic is th this place has a bit of a problem with uh, necromancy. Oh, here's one. Okay. Oh, was that the same for the last place? No, I don't think it was necromancy there, but that was cold magic, I think. Oh, yeah, cold magic. This, that could really, really kill someone in an instant. Yeah. Or maybe not necromancy. Actually, maybe necromancy doesn't exist in this place. They're very sciencey, so maybe they fear. So, uh, maybe just magic. Maybe just magic in general, yeah. Yeah, like even basic magic. They don't like stuff that they can't explain, and since they can't explain magic through scientific means, they fear it. Yep. It must be really creeped out by that sky. It's just a bright pink. A lot of pink, a nice pink, a small pink. This is all they've seen. Oh, just because of the high concentration of, of helium in the atmosphere. It's also why okay. we don't like magic, because we'll set the whole thing on fire and we'll die. <laughs> okay. Are dragons a myth, a frequent sight, or non-existent? Now, we know they oh, exist. Well, they're pets. But we know they exist. Flip, yeah. Oh, yeah, they have those pets. That's true. Wait, so they have sentient dragons that hate magic. Okay, but, well, um... Well, they they just think they're animals, though. They're uh, smart. I suppose. Um, they explain it through terms of evolution. Uh, what special ways do the political leaders in your world execute heinous criminals? Um, get the faceless to kill them. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, does gunpowder exist? Yes. Because they yes. use it in the cannons on their airships. This, I did. Was it that I said for the last one that they knew about gunpowder, but they didn't know how to make it? They, they knew about gunpowder. They got it from this place. They. Yes, fair enough. Um, I think they they had it uh, only for like explosives. They didn't have in like guns and stuff. Yes. In Gullamark, yeah. Um, oh yeah, that was it. How high are the tallest city walls in your world? That high. So like. I, I don't reckon they. I don't reckon. I reckon they have big cities that are always expanding, so they never bother to build too high walls. They've yeah. just got like different layers of walling around. Four feet. Not four feet. I'd say like. Uh, I'd probably say the highest wall is only ten feet tall. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's no, like the one around the palace. The rest of them are just sort of different heights based on how quickly they were built and all that. It's quite interesting because all the places have had like pretty, I mean, well, 10 feet's not small, but like pretty, pretty small walls. Like everywhere's. Mm -hmm. Pretty much got. I guess a lot of a lot of places haven't been. Uh, they've been I guess they've not really been too sort of militaristic against each other. There's not been like big military conquests. There's just been a bit of colonialism. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, uh, but every single place, oh, I think, pretty much has got small walls. And then there's in Megiddo, there's the city of Gotstad, which has uh, 320 feet high walls. Oh. Because it's got these huge water towers, uh, which it protects. Uh, it's showing off, because that's what it is. It's in a drought most of the year. So. They didn't build them, they were there. Oh, they're just they're, there. They were, they were built by the uh, Akaviran. The Forge Elves. Um, um, what kind of music is popular among the wealthy elite? I reckon because the common folk like jazz. Yeah. They're. They like I heavy metal. <laughs> heavy metal, just head banging lords. No, yeah. I, I, I reckon, I reckon they are the fans solely of piano music. Just solely. 
No violins, no sort of great orchestras, just a piano. Maybe a bit of singing to accompany it. How many days are there in a year? How many days are there in a year? Yep. 362 and a half. Does that work with... Oh yeah, it just means there's a leap year. Well, there's a leap year, but every other year has one more day than the year. Just, yeah, stuff. So it's 362, 362, 362, 363. Yes. So, 362 and a half. Mm -hmm. Yep, just to be awkward. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. So, we actually have 365 and a quarter days in a year, don't we? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I should have well, done like um, it's, slightly, it's, slightly, it's slightly larger than a quarter, I think. But that slightly larger is so insignificant. That we don't bother with. Okay. Um, are the town garrisons generally considered far, or are they more often considered corrupt? Sorry, do you say far? Fair. Oh, fair. You said far, right? Yes, they all live ten villages over. No, um, I don't know. I reckon because of the fact that they sort of... Hmm... I reckon that in this society, because they all sort of have a common dislike of the orcs, they have something to sort of band together against. So they're reasonably fair against their own, but they are cruel against any orcs that they might encounter, except for those who've been told specifically not to. For example, those that are guarding any orc farms or, you know, places of building. Yeah, I reckon it's really hard to explain, but I reckon they're really, really nice people, except for the fact they're massive racists. <laughs> no, they're, yeah, like they're, they're just the same. They're just the people, like everyone else. They're they're really like pretty pretty good people, but they've just been brought up to believe that orcs are terrible creatures, and as a result, have no anywhere it comes to it. Um. Uh, farmers have to worry more about vicious animals than famine. Yes, we got to be careful of the werebears. And yeah, I don't know. Uh, mm, yeah, why not? Um, fastest way to travel is airship. Of course. Naturally. Yes, maybe between the big cities they have like underground railway. Um. I don't know. Uh, is marriage uh, free? As in, are people allowed to marry marry freely? Uh, as long as they're not orcs. No, it, like it like costs a little bit of money. <laughs> You're allowed to marry anything, as long as it's not an orc. Mm. Oh, how about le legally you're allowed to marry anything, but there are a lot of social social taboos. Yeah, social ta social taboos. They're like you shouldn't marry this really. You shouldn't really marry this kind of people. Shouldn't marry, shouldn't marry the Sudo like, like, dragons, really. Like, it's like mixing classes. It's allowed, but not very much smiled upon. Cool. Okay. Next question is, uh, uh, I am going to say that there are multiple gods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, is slavery common? Orc slavery. Or, um, yeah, I suppose. Mm. Well, 
I, I don't know. I get the feeling that people would kill orcs rather than yeah. If if all slavery was common, then people would have orcs aren't savages. I reckon that it, it's not slavery. It's I reckon it's monarchy sort of has little colonies of orcs that they assign jobs to, but they do give sort of a free allowance for them to leave if they so wish. Yeah. I don't really know how to explain slavery. that. Optional slavery. Optional slavery. It's, like they don't, uh, it's, just sort, 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 it's sort of like the mining in England, how that used to be. Sort of, There's a mine here, you can sort of move and live in these houses and stuff, but we won't pay you real money, we'll pay you things for you to buy food from our shops with. Just sort of that. They can leave where they want, but they won't really be able to take anything with them. Mm-hmm. I have no money. It'll all be worthless. Um, uh, what is generally regarded as the most dishonourable crime in the land? Um, I reckon in, like embezzlement. I, I still get the feeling this is that kind of land. That's sort of... What's that? I was going to say <laughs> hard having long walks, but... No... I don't think there would be anyone. I, it's really hard for. I wouldn't think anyone would get the opportunity to harbour orcs. Yeah, I so guess. that crime just wouldn't exist. And of course, it, it's oh, it's really hard. To, I I don't want to say people are united against you know by a common hatred, but that's not what it is. <laughs> I reckon they're very very for each other. The monarchy's very fair. All the sort of nobles are kind to their peasants. Ish. Basically, it's everyone's really nice and happy, and then as long as they're not an orc, they just all turn into a huge. Yeah, they're all happy and lovely. It's all, they're sort of like massively. they're sort of like grandparents. So sort of, they seem really, really nice, but then you suddenly discover they're really horrible racists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I um, that about my grandparents as well. <laughs> Such is life. Um, what colour are the clouds? Clouds. I, I, I don't believe in clouds. They're myth. <laughs> They're the same colour as the sky. I reckon they're not the same colour. They're not the colour of the sky. They're a slightly, slightly more orange colour. Oh, yeah, they're slightly different. They're slightly different. So if you look closely, you can spot them. So they're like a, a, a slightly orangey pink. It's very specific. Yeah. Um, uh, do many people smoke? I. There's there's snuff people. They don't smoke. They snort the tobacco. Yeah, they snort tobacco. I think we had that last time. Right. Re- did we? Damn it! I don't know why I like the idea of snuff so much. <laughs> I don't know either. We had that discussion last time, definitely. Um, okay, <laughs> nobody smokes, they all have nicotine patches. Yeah. Nicotine gum. the ones that want to smoke. And nicotine, yeah, nicotine gum. There we go. Um, is overpopulation an issue? There is a lot of close urbanisation, but it's not to the point that it's an issue. Well, they don't really die very often. Yeah, it's it's advances in technology that stop it from becoming an issue. Maybe sort of of every now and again. Every now and again, there are like overcrowdings in places that can cause people to get injured. But apart from that, there's like a there's like a one child rule. One child rule. I don't think people would be quite so happy if there was a one child rule. Especially the ones that get their children taken while they're faceless. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, what is the survival rate for those who visit the doctor? Uh, it's 
pretty high, actually. Pretty damn high. 98%? Yeah, I was going to say about... Maybe maybe a bit lower than that. 96.5. Because people don't visit the doctor that often unless it's something bad. Yeah. Because they all just get the magical tonic, which is made by the orcs, but they all think it's made by a special noble person. Okay, cool. Uh, right, I'm just going to quickly go and get a drink. Um, that's oh. a bit sore. So we'll be back in a minute. So, Tom, tell me, how's life? It's pretty lifey. You've been revising lots and hard? No. What about you? Have you been revising? No, I was. I woke up this morning and I was like, right, definitely. Today, I'm going to do all the homework I've got. I'm going to revise for my tests next week, and everything's going to go perfectly. I have just played Star Wars and Stardew Valley for the entire day. (laughs) (sighs) Procrastination like a pro. Yeah. Wonderful. Speaking of, whilst we wait for, like, five seconds before Tom gets... uh, Tom? No, you're Tom. (laughs) Until Ollie gets back, I'm going to play a tiny bit of Star Wars. Because god damn it, I've got an addiction and I need to feed it. I'm playing a level where um, the rain is added. So, that's something. It's bloody annoying, is what it is. What? Especially since they've got. Oh, you! Oh. I. I am so hate-filled right now. Bloody, um, bloody AI jumped in front of a rock I was about to jump onto and knocked me into the acid rivers. Oh, you almost nice did it again, one. you. Yeah. You got any plans for tomorrow? Uh, no, unfortunately. I don't have any, uh... Oh, that was so close. I'm on two health. Oh, time in the falls would be so fun. I would mess with so many people. Time he gets a slight injury. Oh, this is the level I kept dying in. I remember this bit. No guy here. First person shooter mode. No one can kill me. I'm invincible. Ah, oh, I forgot you were here. Well, that's one way to defeat a Sith Lord. I just didn't realise that was going to be so good. What do you do? Um, I used a Stoker concussion rifle and didn't quite realise it was as powerful as it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Anywho, it's time for me to save and... Right. Ah, getting back to some hammering, I see. <laughs> yeah. 
Shut up. Um, Where are we? Uh, uh, who is the most powerful mage in the world? I'm going to say one of the faceless. One of the faceless, yeah. yes. They call him Maggie. The mighty mage. Um, the monarch of secrets. They help orcs. I didn't hear a word of that. The question was, do the monarchs have any secrets? And I said yes, because they help yeah, orcs. Yes, they do have the orcs. Um. Are bloodletting any other superstitious healing beliefs a commonality? No. Uh, how many days in a week? Uh, ten. Yeah, but they're not called weeks because it's a mostly decimal system, except for their thirteen months and yeah, three hundred. Not very stupid. Sixty. To be honest. Are lycanthropes a prominent threat? Yes. Yeah, the werebears. I've, I've already said that rhyme, so I'm not going to say it again. Okay. Next time someone mentions werebears. Yeah. Next time. Be aware. Um, da -da -da -da. <laughs> Are there any racial tensions in your world? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, no, oh, no wonder. No, I guess actually racial... they wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't realise it as a racial tension because they wouldn't like consider them a sentient race. No It'd racial more tensions. A... From apart from point of view of people, but technically, yes, because orcs. <laughs> because orcs. Because orcs. I do want to call Are visions and prophecies a commonality? Uh, um, I'm gonna. S I, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna say no. Visions, etc., are not common. Um, uh, does res we said resurrection magic did not exist, didn't we? Yes. Technically, means healing spells don't exist, but. Um, average life expectancy amongst rich and amongst poor. It's pretty much. It's cut. The rich only live slightly longer than the poor. So mm. it's sort of, you know. Six, it's as, as long as. 70. As in, that's how old people live, or. Yeah, life expectancy. 1765. That's a 1765. That's that's quite 70 old. 70 and 65. Yes. Oh. Um. Um. There are airships. The question is: Are there airships? There are airships. Has anyone ever scaled the tallest mountain in your world? Yes. Not by walking, but by flying. This is very true. Tallest mountain scaled, but by flying. Um... Are teachers wealthy or poor? I imagine that teachers are. Oh, 
No, actually, I'd say the reason people are sort of so happy and mindlessly racist is because they're uneducated. Yeah, so teachers, the, the, the teacher, teachers are only for like, the richer, the nobles. Teachers so, are only well, hey. for nobles, so... Yeah. yeah. Um, are there any special types of metal? They they know how to make Damascus steel. Uber steel. Hmm? It's called. Uber it's steel. really quite tricky to find the yeah. animal. <laughs> they know how to make um, it. Yeah, it's it's again it's the orcs who know how to make it. Mm. Ah. We still don't know how to make it, do we, Damascus steel? No, we don't. Although we don't really need to because we can just get tungsten or something like that. Yeah, but how the flip did you do it? Um uh, what do the people of your world regard as the final frontier? Space. The final frontier. I guess that they... so does make sense, because they have tech. Yes. Yeah. Uh, These are the voyages of the... Yeah, so that's also These are the voyages of the... Um, Pardon, Tom? The moons as well. Moon. Uh, and it, yeah. Moons. Although well, I don't think they want to go to the Blood Moon. I know, I was going to say that. Yeah, that doesn't seem like the most appealing of places. So you don't want to be on the planet when there's a Blood Moon, so think of being on the Blood Moon when there's a Blood Moon. And there's always a Blood Moon. <laughs> what is the most widely desired resource? Uh, I'm going to say, for some reason, people really, really like a good wheel of cheese. Oh, yeah. So, Either people world, okay. just love cheese. Amazing. Go around everywhere, just like, cheese, give me cheese, please, man. you got to give me some cheese. Wow, I is cheese stored food. in prototype fridges. What's stored in who? who? Say that again. Meat. Things that need storing. Like meat, you know, so it doesn't go off. Sorry, sorry, just, just say that whole thing again. Meat. Yes. It says, how is meat stored in wealthy homes? Is magic involved? Oh, how is meat stored? Okay. Um, I'm going to say they have refrigeration technology. That's what I said. Yeah. Prototype fridges. Um... Uh, are books uh, rare, valuable? I think probably, yeah. No, I reckon at this point, sort of, they'd have some sort of printing press and have. Yeah, well, like, no one can read them. No one can read. Oh, yeah, no one can read. Yeah, but they, they have lots and lots of books. No one can read them, so they don't really buy them, so they're really dirty. Books are. They buy them for the pictures. Not rare, but no one can read. No one is. They, they buy them for pictures. Yeah. Um, adventurous guilds, I imagine, do exist because they're the ones who hunt the orcs. Yes. Adventurous guilds exist for orc hunting. Hmm. Um... Uh, um, what's the most common beast of burden? Beast of burden. Um, beast of burden. Beast of burden, like a uh, labour animal. Like donkeys. Oh, right. But we're not going to have donkeys. We're going to have... Um, 
What are we going to have? Think of something interesting. We are going to have giant crabs. <laughs> giant crabs on farms and stuff. They walk sideways. Yeah, that just means it's easier to hitch stuff onto them because you won't get the legs hitting it. And quite a lot of the year it's cold. So they hibernate when it's cold. Owl crabs. But then you can't use them. <laughs> Shut up. I made this decision. I'm sticking okay. by it. Crabs. I'm going to say dire crabs. Dire crabs. They're, they're actually furry. They're furry crabs. That's what it they're is. Mammal crabs. Mammal crabs. That'd be so awesome. The beasts, of burden. the beasts of burden for these places are frost trolls, dire crabs, I can't remember what they were in the Dawnshine Islands, and then giant prairie dogs. <laughs> wow, okay, fine. Um, 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 ooh, we are nearly done. Um, being an adventurer can be profitable. Um, uh, what percentage of the world's population are males? I'm going to say for some reason they've got a lower percentage of males. It's, a, it's more of a female dominated world. So only 25% of the population are male. Alright. Yeah. Okay. And most of the 25% are orcs. <laughs> it's pretty much a racist <laughs> feminine society. Sorry, what? It's basically a racist society of females. Yes. They're all gossiping, like, all the time. All those bloody orcs! <laughs> okay, um... um uh, are the undead a serious threat or a myth? No. Myth. Yeah, remember necromancy was like a thing that yeah. I didn't do. Yeah. Weather quickly. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be tomorrow. Not. Not good. great. Not great. Oh, bugger. Okay. Well, that's the questions done. Great. Okay. Cool. Oh, apparently it's no longer supposed to hail. Wonderful. That's good. Oh, I'm glad. Right, so I'll just reread everything as a summary. Um, in the land of Envalo, there are uh, apparently. Oh, we haven't done that yet. What? Ah, yes, yeah, Sigil. Hmm. It is a mighty human female standing on the skull of an orc. I was going to say the exact same thing. Yeah. And she's also holding a hairy crab by, by a lead. No, is it? Is it? <laughs> okay. Oh, a I can imagine that now. Like a really muscular battle woman riding into battle on a hairy crab. <laughs> That's, awesome. That's going to be amazing. Interesting. Is there like another, an alternate sigil? Um, well, uh, the, the the one for the the one that the nation likes to, like the the people like to adopt is the flag of the thing. But the official one for the country is actually just um, a. I'm going to say one of the one of the, one of the shrines. It's it's yeah. It's actually um, how many shrines are there? Should we say like forty three? There are forty three shrines. So it is a um, a blue background with forty three like dashes that are yellow vertical dashes on it to represent the shrines. 
and then there's a gear at the bottom, uh, in the middle, a gear in the middle to represent. There's a gear in the middle surrounded by 43 dashes to represent the shrines, and the gears to represent the technology. I feed. That's a nice gears. Okay, so uh, there's 13 astronomical symbols there for months. Uh, land ownership is not important for social status. Winters are cold and unpredictable. Uh, the most popular music for common people is jazz style music. There are no never battles because uh, there's no ships. People like to drink whiskey. The common household pet is a pseudo dragon, and Davros is the most common name, even though it's a female society. <laughs> Every male is called Davros. Well, no, Davros could still be the most common name. It just means a lot of men are called Davros, and there are a lot, a lot more female names. I mean, if, if it's a mainly female-oriented society, then most of them are going to be female. Yes. Well, names so, think of, but true. stuff. Words. People are, you, know, you know what I mean. People are going to come up with a variety so, of female names. People are just names. so surprised if they get a male child, they just have to call them the same They don't know what to call it. They don't prepare yes. to they name go, a child male. Uh, Davros. It's like, oh no, it's a guy. Just call it Davros then. Why do we call it Davros? Because it sounds like Dave, but it's not quite. Everyone used to be called Dave. That's decided. Mm -hmm. um. So talked about the sigil. Most famous assassin is there's not one but there's a guild of state assassins who are trained from a young age to become killers and execute enemies of the state and those convicted of heinous crimes called the faceless as in they're called the faceless. The wealthy spend the money on hiring hunters to kill orcs to make stuff out of teeth as apparently that's a trade for that kind of stuff. Um, the colour of nobility is very bright white. Uh, the faceless will take you is what people say to scare children. Uh, the sky is an eternally pinkish sunrise colour. No holy cities, but there are shrines and similar, which small settlements are formed around. Orcs were originally living in Valo, but then man came along and killed lots of the orcs, and then other races came. Orcs were fairly intelligent and not savages, but man happened and killed them because anyway because man. Uh, only major war was the or human orc war. Grogak Day is the most important, holiday, uh, most celebrated holiday, which is basically Guy Fawkes. Uh, monarchy are only uh, ones to accept the orcs, and they get them to work from behind the scenes as they are smart, and they help develop the airships. Help develop airships, medicine, and steel. Originally were the assassins, so wore mask hide faces, now other races, but still keep masks, hence the faceless. Five seasons, three tepid, uh, three months tepid, three months hot warm, three slightly, two slightly cold, then three freezing, then another two slightly cold. Uh, the relics and the shrines. Gold coin more important than cow. This is industrial. Diseases and plagues not prevalent, thanks to knowledge of medicine. Werebears come out at night. Common is the most common language. Common musical instruments, saxophone style instrument. Strangers festival is Gogak Day, again. Seals are illegal to hunt. Famous musician was a member of the Faceless. He used mu music can kill, but he's deaf. Uh, politicians don't exist. Got the biggest there. battle was the, was the Battle of Big Little Horn, uh, which is an orc massacre. Um, not really about. Uh, most common natural disasters, little earthquakes. Most dangerous form of magic is all magic, as can't explain this science, so it's just scared of. Dragons are frequent. Um, are a frequent site. Gunpowder exists. Taller city walls are turned feet. Uh, cities are always expanding, so walls are never huge. The wealthy's favourite music is piano music. Uh, days in the year 36, 362 and a half. Yep. Guards are fair against any non-orcs. Farmers have to worry more about vicious animals, animals than fam famines. The fastest way uh, to travel is airship. It costs little money to marry, and you can't marry orcs. Multiple gods. Slavery is uncommon. Most dishonorable crime is embezzlement. Clouds are slightly more orange than the sky, so very hard to see. Uh, people don't smoke. Overcrowding is not a problem due to increasing technology. Magic's bad. 
Doctors survive rain 96.5%. Most powerful mages will not be faceless. Monarchs have secrets as they have the orcs. There are 10 days in a week. Lycanthropes are a threat. There's no racial tensions from the view, point of view of the people, but technically, yes, because orcs. Uh, uh, visions and so on are not common. Resurrection magic does not exist. Average life expectancy for riches 17, poor 65. There are airships. Tallest mountain has been scaled, but only by flying. Teachers are not are only for nobles, so they are well paid. Special metal is effectively the Damascus steel, steel equivalent. What? A final frontier of space and the moons, because they have Keck. Most widely desired resources, cheese oils. The meat is stored in prototype fridges. Books are not rare, but no one can read anyway. Uh, adventurous guilds uh, exist for orc hunting. What about only forks can read? No. Even if orcs were like the most common readers, it'd still be their ability would have to, you know, nobility can't survive without reading. Mm. They have to sort of convey messages and stuff and be so inefficient Except. if you had to just do everything for people. Except some nobles or orcs. It's much easier to give someone a letter than tell someone a message and tell them to pass it on. Yeah. So I reckon the nobles are just, you know, re they're reading right mostly just for the case of sort of sending messages to each other rather than for reading books. Yeah. Well, most of me slant chat. <laughs> Adventurous guilds exist for orc hunting. Most common beast of burden is dire crabs. Uh, being an adventurer mm. can be profitable. 25% of the population are male, and the undead are a myth. There we go. Hooray. Okay. Right, well, um, that was us uh, uh, doing some world building for Envelo. Um the old idea of the faceless I really like, so we might try and get a one shot together for that at some point. Um, but yeah, uh, if you watched, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, check out the other World Wing videos and the other ones just generally. And we'll see you, you next watch. time. Thank you for not watching, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for the watching, Mr. Uh,